face that this world has forgotten What's up guys and welcome yet to another episode of course of who was really better on today's episode, we are going to look upon the two water electric typing Lantern, of course, Epic Angler Pokemon versus the Dishwasher, the Beast, the Monster, that is, of course, Rotom Wash. Now, these two has always been actually on a pair with one another for quite some time. And it's up to me, of course, in this episode, to go over their stats, abilities, and, of course, move pool to see which one of these two are really better. Now, first and foremost, let's go over their typing. Electric and Water is a very exclusive typing. These two are the only ones who actually do pack it, and it's one of the best combinations in the game, which makes it unfortunate that it hasn't been revisited. Lantern, of course, introduced Generation 2, then Rotom Wash in Generation 4. So there are a lot of generations that haven't really been actually up to date, and I do believe that's a missed opportunity, considering, of course, what the typing brings to the table. Now, as a Soul Water typing, it's not necessarily the best combination of typing, but as a Soul Electric type, having access to Water Stab makes you really good against the Pokemon that could tackle you well, mainly, of course, the Ground type. Now, the resistances here are, of course, um, strongly resist steel, we resist fire, ice, and water, that are of course from the water typing and from the electric, the flying resist is here. Now, uh, weaknesses are grass and ground, but you do lose, of course, your electric weakness since, of course, with the electric typing here, you do get neutralized by that. But as stated here, grass is a very, very common thing here, and so are ground, but at the same time, uh, due to the typing combination, you do tackle these typings fairly well. And uh, as a whole, both Lantern and Rodent stands out to be a Pokemon that does deal with a really weird combination typing against them, which makes this Pokemon very interesting as a whole. And I said it, exclusive typing that are good is very, very scarce, actually. The only one I can think of top of my head are actually Ground Flying, which at the same time also has been rarely revisited. Now, next off is their stats. Now, they actually have the same stats, but in different areas. Because if you look at it, you definitely see there are peakings in different stats here. Lantern stands out, of course, with 125 HP versus Rodon's puny 50. That's that's a big leap in HP. Then we'll look at attack, which is this and doesn't matter for any of them because none of them are physically active. Uh, 58 on um, Lantern versus Rodon 65. Not a whole lot. And then we see a new peaking here with Rotom Wash 117 defense versus 58 in uh, Lantern's defense. It's very clear which one takes physical hits better between these two. Then it comes to special attack. Rotom Wash has a lot more special attack. 105 versus 76. So even here it's very clear that Rotom can offensively hit things harder. Special defense though, same thing here. 76 versus 107. Should be stated though that due to mixed HP from Lantern, Lantern is actually more capable of taking specially defensive hits because of the extra HP. It really just kind of wavered down to actually showcasing that it does take the special defensive hits better. Now, when it comes to speed here, Rotom is faster as a Rotom niche speed of 86 out of speed and lights of 85, like Heracross, for example. Uh, it's a strong speed here. 67 on Lantern, not a bad speed here, but here are things that definitely does outspeed it. But as a whole, here it's very clear that Rotom Wash is offensively more capable and to some extent defensively more um, more active than Lantern can be, but it should be stated that due to Lantern's actual high HP stat, its leftovers defensive sets are definitely more desirable than Rotom Wash, mainly because it does recover more HP. So defensively, they are on par with one another, but in a different way. But as stated, the extra HP does make it more suitable to be in a mixed offensive-defensive Pokemon, while the Rotom Wash is straight up either defense or actually attacking one because it can't rely on its HP at all. Now we come to the interesting part though, and when I say interesting, dude, I mean interesting. Uh, their abilities are very, very weird, they're very unconventional and viable for both of them, but in different ways. Uh, now, definitely getting Illuminate from Lantern right away makes you encounter more Pokemons, whatever. 
but then we have very very good abilities here in Volt Absorb and Water Absorb two really niche abilities here but this is definitely something that makes Lantern capable of actually recovering HP out of Leftovers or a C move with Stockpile that said Lantern's abilities here does make sure that you can be specific for the matchup you're going to deal with and packing both of these moves are actually very good it's stopping Volt Switching is a strong niche from Lantern uh, being a water type that does deal with electric types are a very very strong niche for a Pokemon such as this caliber and definitely with its mixed defenses it's definitely something that stands out for Lantern being able to suitable switch itself into very tough environments now look at Rodent Wash it has one ability this ability has shifted a whole meta around it Rodent Wash gets Levitate which of course negates its already few weaknesses to only one getting rid of the ground weakness is a very very strong ability indeed only way to grass now which makes Rodon a very very desirable pokemon for any kind of meta really is a defensive shake for a lot of things and as an electric type with levitate this is a very strong thing but you combine it with of course being able to actually have a water type in combination you are not only shaking your ground types you're definitely forcing them out because you can do super effective damage towards them really really easily so Rodon Wash stands out here has a stronger ability between the two but Lantern due to of course being both Volt Absorb and Water Absorb can have a lot of niches in born with it and can be really specific while Rodon Wash has that single ability and it's definitely the one that are the most desirable between the two but still it's very cool that Lantern can be subjectively different depending on the matchup it's going to face. Now, as you guys all know, a Pokemon is only as good as their move pool makes them out to be. So even if Rotom looks to be the stronger here, we have a lot of things to go over what they can learn. While they do share quite a lot of their combinations, there also are differentiating between a few things. So let's first go over what they share. Now, when it comes to what they shared, primarily this is only their stabs in mind, actually, because they actually get Volt Switch, they get Thunderbolt, and get Thunder. And it should also be said that for the primary stab and water stab, it actually is only Hydro Pump. Uh, it's actually on that side that Rolling Wash actually only learns Hydro Pump, which is both good or bad, because it's the primary stab for getting maximized damage. While there are a few niche moves with water, Hydro Pump is primarily ones you want to use. It's a bit unconventional, but it does hurt. Uh, Rodent definitely can pull this off as well as Lantern, so these are the steps in mind. And what to do show outside of that is the likes of Signal Beam, which can definitely be a decent filler move together with the likes of actually getting access to Sucker Punch, which is an interesting priority move, which while it just lacks attack, they are able to pull that up. Uh, they also get charge when I capitalize on that and this charge so as said here the stabs are primarily what they do share with a few niche moves in mind but that's pretty much where it's at now lantern due to actually having a few extra generations behind it will get more attacks than Rotom and Rotom as a whole has a lower move pool but it wouldn't mean that it's bad by any chance of imagination so we're first gonna go over Rotom's filler moves now, Rotom actually is an interesting Pokemon due to its prior evolution of its ghost form, making it able to learn likes of Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, and actually Trick. One thing that definitely stands out from Rotom Wash is the likes of actually due to getting the ghost type already, it actually has access to Will O Wisp, and Will O Wisp is a very, very good defensive respawn, making Rotom able to actually forcing itself to focus on its special defense really nicely without need to worry, and a uh, passive recovery and pain split which while unconventional and on this video really really unconventional it is an option to pull off if you want to capitalize on it and it's actually able to pull that off fairly well due to its low hp pain split will make you able to recover more hp more naturally so it's an option for it and outside of that the rest of chesto is an option but as stated pain split does make it fair here and of course with willow wisp it does make it fairly unique now with that said lantern has said it had a broader mood pool let's go over them right now already now, Lantern on the other side does get what every water type usually gets, which is Skull Surf, which definitely stands out together with the likes of having supporting moves in Heal Belt to be able to recover either its HP by C move or recover, of course, status from a whole team, which is a very, very strong niche to have and definitely very exclusive to a water type in general. In X and here we actually have Soak, which is a unique move for Lantern, together with actually Toxic, being able to Toxic, of course, Steel types and Poison types. And we have Pillow moves in Dazzling Gleam, and the strongest niche here, which is actually Ice Beam and Blizzard. But outside of these moves, Lantern has a few other options. The one are actually like some niche, if I don't capitalize on that, but also Stockpile, making Lantern able to actually fanning itself up really, really nicely. And against defensive teams, this is something that it can be capitalized on, because as I said before, due to higher HP, it does recover more from. 
Actually, it's a leftover. It should always be said that it does get Ion Deluge, which is a move that makes normal type moves electric type. So if you're facing Eliza, for example, Snorlax or Blissey or anything that will hit you with a normal type move, you can use this move to get it to actually capitalize on the Volt Absorb already, which is a strong niche for, for the State of Lantern. And this is basically what this style is going to boil down to. It is whether or not the niche is enough to tackle a Rodan Wash. And this is where the dialogue becomes rather complicated because, as I said before, Rodent Wash has a viability in OU and it has that because it tackles one of the main threats there being actually Landra's T. But outside of that, Rodent as a whole is a very, very good Pokemon because of Levitate. It does actually negate its few issues that it could be packing. And with Will O Wisp and a decent speed here, it does deal a whole lot with the issues it could be facing. And with Will O Wisp and Pain Split, it just packs that extra punch and becomes really niche. Willow is primarily because it does mean it can focus on its bulk and special defense primarily over its physical defense because it can negate the damage which will wisp So with that in mind, it stands really, really tall here that Rodent Wash viability in OU stands for this very reason. It's a very strong one at that. Uh, does it make Lantern that much worse due to it? Not necessarily. Um, if you look at the Pond Lantern here, while it does impact the punch, as Ron and Wash are doing, Lantern can be very, very specific. I do believe this role is what makes it more desirable, for example, in a League's concept, mainly because you are able to deal with Volt Switch and uh, Volt Switching capabilities, and also deal with Water Spam to some extent, actually dealing fairly well with Sukun, for example, which is something that I don't believe in many actually have fun about. Outside of that, Stockpile Amicia, Make sure that Lantern can be just as bulky, if not bulkier, than Rodent Wash in a matter of seconds. And not being stalled out, these two Pokemon does tend to be toxic stalled. And when Lantern can heal bell and soak you and stall you out, it becomes really clear that Lantern has an array of options that Rodent Wash do lack. While Rodent Wash has a stronger set overall than Lantern, I would say, in my honest opinion, that due to the initiatives from Lantern, I do believe Lantern become a lot, lot stronger threat than Rodent Wash with all of this consider. Now, as you guys already know, it is very subjective which one of these are better and through meta, I definitely would just with my whole hand point at Rodent Wash. It all comes down to, as I stated here, the niches and the capabilities they can do outside of their main tier. And Lantern being able to tackle grass type with ice stabs or not ice stab with ice moves does make it a bit more interesting in my honest opinion to get with the lies of stall being able to tackle that a lot more smoothly than Rodent Wash ever could do. That said though, in the meta environment, Rodent Wash is the stronger here. I only take Lantern because I do believe it gives more options overall in a Lee concept, which are a very, very common thing nowadays. This has to be considered into, of course, my options. Lantern has a lot of niches. It has a lot of strong arrays to actually be capitalizing on with a lot of matchups. The Soak Toxic one is definitely one that stands out. Uh, being able to deal with anything that possibly could have checked it, being able to actually stall them out and would do a lift door and stockpile, actually bulk itself out and become impenetrable in so many ways. Now with this said, of course, what do you guys think? It's very easy for me to just point out, you know, Lantern's awesome. I really want to know what you guys are thinking. You guys probably want to say Rodan Wash, and for the very reasons I actually said in this video, it does make it a very, very strong Pokemon. Levitate is that good. And now with that said, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and join us next time, where we're going to look upon these Pokemon.